Scenes of chaos and rioting are hitting parts of Argentina. Police were trying to prevent youth from looting shops and stores. A wave of looting began on Thursday in the region of Patagonia and spread to other parts of the country. Some have been killed and many injured in the violence. Last month, thousands of people marched in the capital, Buenos Aires, to demand pay increase and solution to economic problems. Inflation in Argentina has gone up to as high as 25% in recent months. And there is anger at the government's decision to cut subsidies to transport and utilities. But the widespread looting has left many in disbelief. The government quickly deployed hundreds of military police as reinforcements. It also increased surveillance by land and air. More than 100 people have been arrested. The government says the chaos seemed deliberate. They're isolated incidents, clearly planned and organised. We don't see anyone taking food. They're taking televisions and alcohol. These acts must be condemned and a clear signal sent out. So everyone knows that nothing will be achieved by this in Argentina. Union leaders reject the government's assertion that the unions might be behind the unrest. I think the president is out of step. The problems we face have overwhelmed the government and she's unable to see the reality. She doesn't respond to any legitimate demands. Scenes like these have reminded Argentines of the worst economic crisis they faced 10 years ago and put pressure on the government to fix the economic problems and ensure public order. Omar Saleh Al Jazeera.